What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using another restricted Pokemon that sets the sun. We are rocking out with Groudon today in Regulation G. So guys, in the past video, or previous video, I should say, we used Coridon. He set the sun, he got the team rolling. Now we're using the OG Groudon, who is so powerful in every single format it has ever been in. So hopefully, it still rocks out in Regulation G. I'm pretty sure it will be able to rock out in Regulation G. And we should be able to grab some wins with it today for you guys. But Groudon is over here in the middle left with Drought and the Clear Amulet. It's a straight ground type with Protect, its signature move, Precipice Blades, and it's got Heat Crash and Heavy Slam. This Pokemon's bulky, hits like a truck, and on top of that, setting the sun helps other Pokemon on today's team thrive out. Other Pokemon on today's team that are going to thrive out in the sun are going to be Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, Raging Bolt, and Incineroar. Ogre Pond and Incineroar thrive out because, obviously, they're both fire types, they can get off some big time damage with their fire moves, and then Fluttermane and Raging Bolt can pop Protosynthesis, getting a big time stat boost. Our final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Rollboom. Rollboom, I've been using them a lot lately, especially with Incineroar, just two very strong Pokemon, very strong staple Pokemon, I should say, in Regulation G, that you're going to be seeing a lot because they have Terrain Control, Fake Outs, you name it, they can do it all. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Groudon in Regulation G. Moving on to our first match for today's video, and we got a battle for the ages. We got Groudon who sets the sun, and we got Coridon who sets the sun. So we got a big time sun battle going on here in match number one. They also have Chiyu Fluttermain top tier combo. I could go into like Incineroar here. I could also go into maybe Groudon. I think Groudon could be a pretty solid lead here. I mean, what's your terror type? I think you're Ghost, right? You are Ghost. Um, I could go into you. I could go into you and Fluttermane because Fluttermane should get that speed boost. It does. It's a big time speed boost. That could definitely be clutch for us. So I kind of want to go into both of these guys. I think that could be good. I do like that. But I do have to watch out for like a Chi Yu Fluttermane lead. That could definitely get a little scary and do a bit too much damage to us. Um, huh. What is my play? Could maybe just Terrasalize you and go Fairy, big time damage. That's not a bad call either. But I like these guys as our lead. So that's going to be my lead here. In the back end, I am going to bring Incineroar. I like Incineroar, especially up against Ogre Pond or Coridon. And furthermore, we could go into Raging Bolt or we could go into Ogre Pond of our own. What would I rather have here? I do like Raging Bolt just for a nice little Thunderclap. But if they do bring Indeedee, that's a little bit of a problem. So I'm just going to go into Ogre Pond. Yeah, because if they bring Indeedee, it kind of shuts down this Raging Bolt set, because it only has Thunderclap and Draco Meteor to actually do damage with. It has Combine and Protect for the other ones, but if the Psychic Terrain's out there and we don't have any way to change the terrain, we're, we're just going to be spamming Draco Meteor at that point. So, we'll see. So let's see who they end up going leading. They're going to go Coridon and Sandy Shocks. I could end up hard swapping into... I could end up hard swapping into what's it called? Into Incineroar, but I kind of like this lead. Because we got Groudon, who's going to be super effective onto, obviously, the uh, the Sandy Shocks. And furthermore, we got Fluttermane, who's going to be four times super effective onto Coridon. So I think from here, we just stay our typings, and we just rock a Precipice Blades, and we go into a Dazzling Gleam. Because they're going to be forced to either Terrasize or swap one, but at least one of the Pokemon, right? Or maybe Protect. But I, I like this. I like this. I got Focus Ash. I got Ground Typing. It's a solid lead for us. It's a really good lead for us, but look how sweet Groudon looks. He looks so good. This design is just like, it's perfect. It, it's 10 out of 10, perfect. But we're gonna end up seeing a Terror type pop out here from probably Coridon, right? Coridon, you cooking here? Yeah, what typing do you got? You got Fire. Precipice Blade's gonna rip into this. Precipice Blade's gonna do some damage. So we'll see a big time Terror pop out from him. Dazzling Gleam gonna connect. It's gonna chip up some damage on the both of them. Nothing crazy. And Volt Switch is going to pivot him out. So he's going to pivot out here. Um, I wonder who you're going to go into. Ogre Pond could be your best bet of soaking a shot. But let's see who they go into. It's going to be Indeedee. So Indeedee's not bad. But still, Precipice Blade is really solid here. I like the damage output. They use Terra as well. And he's going to go for Flare Blitz and just get rid of Fluttermane. Right? Correct? Okay. You get rid of Fluttermane. As long as this Precipice Blades lands, I'm, I feel like this is a decent turn for us. A really solid turn for us. 
Let's see, he's gonna lose some life orb damage. Oh no, that's recoil damage. And Precipice Blade's missing somebody. Who dodged? I think it's Indeedee. Yeah, Indeedee dodged it, and we get rid of Coridon. Cool. I'm about it. I'm about it. So we get rid of Coridon. They get rid of Fluttermane. I really wish we would have hit Indeedee there, because that could have been a big turn for us. But they don't have Terra anymore, which is sitting really good for us. So I could go into you if I want to, but I kind of want to save you. I think we should just go into Ogre Pond at this point. Because if they do bring out Fluttermane, we would just Terrasalize. Because that's who I think would be their final Pokemon. Would, would potentially be Fluttermane, right? So yeah, I'm just going to go into, go into Ogre Pond here. Have the double fire legendary Pokemon next to each other. Right, Ogre Pond's a legendary, correct? And they're going to go into Ogre Pond of their own. I should have went into Incineroar, man. Incineroar could have been pretty good. But they don't have Terra anymore, which is massive. It's massive. We're going to break Mold. I'm going to be able to go for Blades here. And I think I'm just going to put the Mask on here. And then just Ivy Cudgel into Ogre Pond. Or actually, we should just go into Ndidi. Actually, let's go into Ogre Pond. Ndidi really not doing anything crazy. You Spiky Shield, you Spiky Shield. But putting the Mask on is going to be, be, be big. It's going to neutralize some damage if he wants to go into an Ivy Cudgel into my Ogre Pond slot. And if he wants to go into my Groudon slot, I believe Groudon should eat one of them. Hopefully. Hopefully, right? Hopefully, but we embody aspect. Are we gonna see a follow me pop out here? That's the real question. We are gonna see a follow me pop out here. No big deal. Don't mind that too much. Ivy Cudgel should do massive damage to this thing. And they're gonna go for a Horn Leech right off the bat, which we soak. That's fine. Very bulky Pokemon. And Ivy Cudgel might just finish this, this, uh, this indeed y'all. This is big damage. Yeah, it's monster damage. <laughs> it is monster damage. Do we like that damage output right there? Precipice Blades is going to connect, hopefully. Yeah, it connects. We're doing some big time damage in the Ogre Pond and just dump it on it. Oh my god. That's massive. That's GG's. That's game. I was going to say, if this thing soaks up, which it does have a chance to, then they have a shot if they do bring out like a solid Pokemon. But honestly, I totally forgot that it was the Sandy Shocks and that it's game. It's game set match. So Protosynthesis is going to pop here. It's going to get that speed boost. You can't go into electric moves into my Groudon. I'm just going to spam Precipice Blades. And let me show you guys something real quick. Precipice Blades, base 120, 85 accuracy. I love it. Such a powerful move. And we're just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel here. And that's going to be game. They just canceled. So match number one goes to us and our Groudon team. Hopping into our second match here. We won the first one, but we're going up against a pretty cool team with Origin Dialga. A Pokemon that I really want to showcase very soon. Same thing with Origin Palkia. But they also have Ice Rider Calyrex and they're going up against the rules of uh, one restricted Pokemon. But hey, we're on the casual ladder. And I feel like we should still have a good battle here. But they have no weather control, so I can lead Groudon pretty freely. Furthermore, I can also lead Fluttermane or I could lead a Pokemon maybe like Ogre Pond here. It could be really good. I do like Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond Groudon here could be awesome. And mm, they do go into Incineroar. That could be a little bit of a problem. So I'm just going to go Fluttermane instead. I have Clear Emma on Groudon. Fluttermane's going to be great. And then in the back end, I could bring Ogre Pond. And last but not least, Raging Bolt. Yeah, I like Raging Bolt. Especially if they want to end up popping Trick Room with, say, Ferrigraph or Ice Rider Calyrex. I can at least have a Pokemon with a first turn priority move that could do some damage. I'm about it. I'm about it. We'll see who they want to go into. But they could end up leading. Incineroar just for fake out purposes. I mean, at that point, they could just fake out and set up Trick Room. Mm -hmm. I could Terrasalize Ghost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the play. Groudon's got that Ghost Terror. He's got that Ghost Terror. We could thrive out with that. And they're going to end up going into both of them. Okay, yeah, 100%. 100%. We got the Ghost typing on Fluttermane. We're going to Terror Ghost Groudon. And we're going to look to just dump on Varigarath. So, honestly, we could play it safe. And we could just go into, like, a Heat Crash. But I'm not going to play it safe. I'm going to go into a Precipice Blades. Because I can KO Incineroar at the same time. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to rip a Moonblast here. Into Furgrim. Because we want to do as much damage as we possibly can. And chances are Incineroar is not terrestrializing. So if we do end up landing these Precipice Blades onto it. It's dead. There's no doubt in my mind. One shot. It's gone. It's gone. So we're going to terrestrialize Big time Ghost Terror type. The dodge fake out. Love me some grab. Love me some Terror Groudon. So we try slice here. Fake out. Get on out of here. It's gonna fail. It doesn't affect me. Beautiful. Moonblast. Gonna fly. They're looking to pop Trick Room. All we need is this Blade Slam. We just need Blade Slam. And it lands. I love you. That should be a double KO. That should be a double KO. Big time turn from us in match number two. First turn. Come on, man. That's too easy. And our opponents probably just gonna cancel this one out. 
easy reads. We were just relying on that 85 accuracy, which prevailed for us. Love you, Groudon. Big time plays. Now they probably have, let's be honest, Ice Rider Calyrex in the back end. Yeah, there it is. It's going to be Origin Dialga. If I had to guess, it's probably pretty slow. This Pokemon looks sweet. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. But I still have Focus Ash on Fluttermane. I can rip Blades all day. And is Origin Dialga the same typing as regular Dialga? It is. That's really cool because Ground is going to just rip up into this thing. So I'm going to go into Blades and I'm just going to go into Shadow Ball. It's his Calyrex slot. So we'll see a Terra type pop out right here, probably from the Alga, if I had to guess, right? No, it's gonna be Calyrex. Into what type? Of it? You're gonna go, is that normal? It is normal, which kind of sucks if I'm going Shadow Ball on that side. That does kind of do me dirty, but hopefully we can just drop Blades here and KO this Dialga. I wonder how bulky this Dialga is. I know this is my first time actually going up against it. But Blade's gonna fly. Who's dodging it? Of course, Dialga dodges it. Of course, Dialga dodges it. And are you popping a trick from here? You know, Flash Cannon, which we have Focus Ash, which is good, and probably a Glacial Lance, right? Trick Room would be tough news if they do end up going for Trick Room there. That could actually flip this turn, this battle around, and they do go for Trick Room. The Trick Room out and about here. Oh, man. Do we go Heat Crash rather than Blades here? No, I think Blades is our play all day. This is scaring me. Um... I don't really know what to do here. I mean, we can't really let it allow it to pick up a KO, so I'm just gonna protect Fluttermane. Because the Glacial Lance can start stacking this thing, right? You can start boosting this thing's attacks that real easily. Yep, there's the Glacial Lance. The Glacial Lance flies out here. I'm terrified. We might lose this match. We might lose this match, let's be honest here. I mean, we soak pretty well there. We're gonna go for a Flash Cannon. We should soak this up. We do, we live on three. Blades is gonna double land. Can we get rid of the Alga? Can we get rid of the Alga? We don't get rid of the Alga. This is tough, man. This is real tough. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Three. I mean, I do have Thunderclap. Oh, baby. Thunderclap won't be clutch for us. I'm just going to try to double protect. We're going to try to waste out Trick Room turns as much as we possibly can. Got to waste out these turns. Hands down. We got to waste out these turns. So, Thunderclap could come in clutch for us. So, I'm going to just go for double protect. These two Pokemon staring me in the face right here. Terrifying. It's terrifying. So we're looking to just waste out some turns. Uh, eventually get off the Thunderclap and kind of roll out from there. So Protect comes out from Groudon. Big time Trick Room play from them. Origin Palk is very bulky. Bulking that... That what's it called right there? It's massive. That Precipice Blades? That's insane. The Groudon's a big time physical attacker. Especially being base 120 stab super effective. Glacial Lance going to carry the Flutter main. And now we're sitting in a weird position where this, this thing starts to get boosted. I do want to showcase Ice Rider Kalox as well, because this Pokemon is OP in Trick Room. Once it picks up a KO, wrap it up, dude. It just starts spamming. And it goes crazy. But from here, we have to go... Here's our problem here. If you protect that Pokemon right there. Here's my... That's my problem. Actually, we should be fine here because we, because we can waste out trick. So I am going to go Raging Bolt here. I am just going to go into a Thunderclap. And I'm just going to attack. Because my problem here is if you protect... Um, if you protect him... I'm just going to go Heat Crash here just for accuracy purposes. But if you protect Ice Rider Calyrex and then you, say, have Draco Meteor on Dialga and just KO my Raging Bolt, that could be a little tough. But Groudon could get rid of Dialga and then there should be two turns left to trick him, right? Yeah, then I could just bring out Ogre Pump, Spike Shield the last turn, and pretty much get in for it that way. So, that's going to be my play. Nice little Thunderclap here. KO here. Let's go. That, that pretty much just solidifies us to win. That just solidifies us to win. We love it. So, me bringing in Raging Bolt helped us out tremendously. We, we might have not been able to win this match if we didn't bring Raging Bolt. Because let me think about that. Actually, would have been close. Because if I didn't bring Raging Bolt there, he would have just picked up a double KO with Glacial Lance. Go plus three. Ogre Pond could have spiked shield, cancel out Trick Room, and maybe won the match. Would have been close. Would have been a 2v1, but I think Ogre Pond could have pulled it out. Definitely could have pulled it out. Right? Yeah, because then it would have been 2v1. Ogre Pond versus those two at their HP. I would have spiked shield, waste out last turn, Trick Room. KO'd the, uh... The, what's it called? The Ice Rider Calyrex, and then hopefully soaked up a shot from Dialka, but... 
I don't know. It actually would have been really close. You never know. But I'm going to go with Thunderclap here. I'm going to go Ivy Cudgel. And that's going to be game. Well, you actually soak a Thunderclap. Pretty impressive. This thing bulky. You got Roar of Time. Oh, baby. We love that. We love it. That's what I was scared of last turn if they were going to protect Ice Rider Calories. Roar of Time is so sick. It's signature move. That's fine. I'm following behind with an Ivy Cudgel. I'm going to hit this thing right on the head. And we're going to say see you later. So there it is. 2 and 0. Groudon is thriving out in today's video. Moving on to our final match, and we are killing it on the ladder today. The casual ladder, of course, in Regulation G. Ranked does not come out till May 1st, but we're still having fun with all these teams. Huge shout out to everybody who made it to the third and final battle. Thank you guys so much for watching. But um, we're going up against a team with no restricted Pokemon, and their only way of weather control is going to be Tornadus, and I believe they are potentially going to lead that Pokemon. So I'm going to go Raging Bolt here for the lead. I do like it, especially if we can set up our Calm Mind boost. But, not, but a problem that we have here is going to be Terrain Control. So I want to bring in Rollaboom at some point in this battle. So I'm going to go Raging Bolt here for the lead. I am going to go Groudon. No, we could go Ogre Pond. Oh, this is actually kind of tough for us. We're just going to go Rollaboom here. I think just having Rollaboom for our lead is going to be nice. And then we'll bring Groudon in the back end alongside with either Fluttermane or Ogre Pond. And looking at their team. Who do I like? I do like Fluttermane. I do like Fluttermane. Just, just that speed factor. It's just so massive. It really is. Let's have a bunch of water types. Don't feel like dealing with that with Ogrepan. Even though I do have some grass moves, but still. Fluttermane's Fluttermane, and you'll never go wrong with Fluttermane. It's Scarlet and Violet. So, we'll see who they want to lead here. And I'm actually curious when the next generation of Pokemon drops. Will we be seeing Paradox Pokemon? I kind of hope not. I feel like that should just be a Scarlet and Violet kind of thing. Paradox Pokemon. Or maybe, like, eventually, like, in a DLC, they bring back Paradox Pokemon. At least for the, the, the first little bit. The first formats in the gym. We want to see it. But they're just going to end up going into these two. I think we just Terrasalize Raging Bolt. We just go into a Combine and boost this thing up. And then from here, we're just going to go into a Fake Out into... Actually, we don't even have to Terrasalize just yet. We don't even have to Terrasalize. Let's be honest here. Let's just set up Combine. And then just Fake this thing out. I think that's just a simple play, but they end up just withdrawing pre Marina. And you're just gonna go into Indeedee, which could be your play. Yeah, it's gonna be Indeedee. So we're gonna be forced to kind of hard swap our, uh, our Rillaboom here. And I wonder if they're setting up Tailwind or not. I kind of hope they kind of just set up Tailwind. Let's see, Fake Out, there's nothing. Bleakman Storm's gonna fly here. Can you dodge Rillaboom? Raging Bolt. Kinda tough, because Rollaboom's gonna take some damage. We're forced to swap out Rollaboom this next turn, but I'm able to get off Calm Mind Boost. And you know what? I'm just gonna do that again. I'm just gonna boost Calm Mind again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna boost Calm Mind again, because I can't really do anything with Rage Bolt until this train gets out of here. So I'm just gonna boost Calm Mind again, and I'm just gonna go into... Groudon? Yeah, I'm cool with going into Groudon. I'm cool with going into him. Even though I believe you do have Rain Dance, Blade still hits hard, man. Blade still hits hard. I can still, I can still attack with Groudon in the in the, uh, in the the rain. Just not with Heat Crash. But it's nice for me to swap into Groudon because they don't have a Pokemon that can KO Groudon in the field right now. Like, Urshfu's not here. But I should be able to get off a turn with this Pokemon. Unless they swap right now just like he did. And now I get the Protosynthesis boost. I get all that goodness. And let's see what they do here. Maybe follow me Tailwind? Let's see. No, don't you dare tell me that's Urshfu. That'd be a little bit of that'd be a little bit of an issue. That'd be a little bit of an issue. It's gonna be Iron Crown. So Iron Crown comes out here. We are combine boosting again, which is wonderful. Bleakman Storm's gonna fly here, which it's okay. The damage is decent. And to be honest, we might just want a Draco Meteor. This Iron Crown. What do I want to do here? I could stay in and just blades. I could. I could swap and go into Rillaboom and maybe just Thunderclap. But if they swap Indeedee, then that's a little that, that could be a little bit of a problem. So you know what? I'm just gonna go into Draco Meteor here. Mm, do I do that? I don't know. I'm just gonna call mine boost again and swap into. This is tough. This is tough. <laughs> um You know, we're just going to Draco Meteor this slot. I think it's going to be Indeedee. If I can get rid of Indeedee, 
make me big. So yeah, we're gonna stick with Jerky Meter into this slot. Um, I'm just gonna protect Grout on here. See what they want to do here. And I'm just gonna stay in here. They're just gonna stay in here. The Rain Dance pops out here. No big deal. No big deal. I still have that big time special defense boost. Photosynthesis is gonna be gone. Jerky Meter is still gonna be able to dump on this thing. And Expanded Force is gonna fly here. A plus two on special defense. This will be decent soaks for you. Actually, that's a bit more damage than I, than I want to take. Jerk and me are going to fly here. We're back neutral on special attack. You are sashed. You're a sashed, little guy. Three sashes up. Um, and from here, what do I even do? What do I even do? Because you could swap indeed here. I could just go Thunderclap in this slot. And you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Thunderclap. And I'm just going to go into Goldboom here and take Terrain back. I'm going to take Terrain back. If they swap a DD here, I'm going to be so upset. Because I really want them to do that last turn. I really want them to do that last turn. But we're going for Thunderclap into the rate, uh, into the Iron Crown slot. And they kind of have us pinned up against the wall. They got really good Pokemon. Really good items that are just working perfectly against us. And they're thriving here. And now they withdraw. But luckily, their Tornas is faster. So if this is Indeedee, this works fine for me, right? Now it's going to be Primarina. The Primarina comes in here. We swap into this. And we get to get after this way. So special defense is boosted, which is good. Expanded Force is not going to do as much damage as it just did. It might KO Rolboom, which could be a little bit of a problem for us. But we'll deal with it as time comes. All right? So there's that. Thunderclap going to fly here. Doing decent damage. Nothing crazy. And Expanded Force is still just going to fly here. Not in Rolboom, which is good. And you get a crit. Oh my lord. Just, just, just the worst possible thing. The worst possible thing. I'm boosted on special defense, trying to outbulk you guys, and you get a lucky crit. Get on out of here. That's crazy. That's crazy. So now I can change backup weather. Um, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna go flutter me. I have to go flutter me. I have to go flutter me. Oh my lord, that is tough. And from here, I gotta go shadow ball. Let's be honest here. I gotta go shadow ball, and I gotta swap you into ground on. That is so bogus, man. I was ready to start getting after it. But I feel like we had a decent shot there. As long as I keep my Raging Bolt. Because I had Rolboom ready to go. And they were probably going to swap into Indeedee. And then I would have just swapped into... Uh, man, it's we just dealing with a lot right now. But still, they're playing really good. That crit didn't really... It helped them out tremendously. Don't get me wrong. But still, they're playing really good regardless. But I'm going to swap Rolboom here just in case Indeedee gets a swap. And I'm going to go in the ground on instead of just faking it. I do think Indeedee is going to swap in here. So we're going to get our Protosynthesis boost. If we do Shadow Ball, we are going to KO. And they're going to withdraw Primarina. And this is totally fine because I still outspeed that Raging Bolt. Or not Raging Bolt, that Iron Crown. Now, speeding that Iron Crown is massive. Because I can just KO it. Unless you protect. I doubt you protect, though. You Terrasalize, though. That's a big time terror. That's a big time terror. So I'll give it to him. Yeah, they're, like I said, they're playing really well here, but that crit was just so big for them. So that comes a fairy terror type. Tough news. A really perfect terror type. And Shadow Ball, I should have just went for a Moon Blast or something. Shadow Ball not going to be able to pick up the KO. It's not. It's just not. Tachyon Cutter going to finish this off here. Now I can bring back out Rollaboom here. Hurts the soul. But let's be honest, their Pokemon in the back end aren't crazy... Powerful Pokemon, right? They're not. They're not crazy powerful Pokemon. But I think from here we just go into a Grassy Glide. Try to finish off the Iron Crown. And then we just try to go for Blades here. We still have Terra, which is decent, but. Robin, what's your Terra type? It's Fire. Um, I think we just save Terra type for right now. Receive it. The so follow me comes out here. That's a smart play. And they're just going to go for... What are you going for? Expanded Force, maybe? Grass is going to get decent damage. And he's just going to go for Tachyon Cutter and KO you. Actually, can you soak this? You don't. I should have Terrasalized him into fire. I should have Terrasalized him into fire. Blades, can you at least pick up a KO? We don't want to get swept here. We don't want to get swept here. First Spice Blade's going to land. We don't get swept. Our opponent played really good in this matchup here. But still, that crit could have changed the tides, man. I feel like Ra Raging Bull could have just survived for so long. It really could have. With the leftovers, plus two on special defense. 
Everything was looking good, but now, honestly, it's still not a bad position. Groudon could clutch up. I mean, we have his Tornadoes on one HP. There it is. Um, we can't go for Blades into it. We do have Terror type. Do we want to use Terror type though? Not really. Um, we could go Heat Crash, but that could get neutralized. Um, I'm just gonna go into Heavy Slam in this slide. If you go follow me, you go follow me. Um. Huh, we have we do have grass terrain which which helps us out. Rain dance gonna fly here. I mean rain dance doesn't really do much. It'll just neutralize heat crash damage. Heavy slam gonna finish you off. And hold up, wait a minute. We got a shot at this. We definitely have a shot at this, because I still have ghost terror to help us out. We're gonna go hyper voice, which oh that does chunk up some damage. That does do a bit too much damage. Groudon does outspeed the Indeedy. Does it outspeed the Primarina though? There's Prima Arena my KO with one, with one turn. Let's be honest, especially in the rain. But I'm gonna Terrasalize Ghost, and I'm still gonna go for it. I'm still gonna go for it. Groudon looking to make the comeback here. Maybe we could get some crit luck on the Prima Arena. That would be, that's kind of what we need, right? A crit on the Prima Arena. We need to outspeed first of all. We need to outspeed, get a crit on the Prima Arena, and land double blades. That would potentially win us the match. That'd be crazy. That'd be absurd. But Groudon with the Terra. Come on, my boy. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Protect comes out from Indeedy. That's a pretty smart protect, let's be honest here. Do you outspeed? Do you outspeed. Give us a crit. Give us a crit. Or if we soak, we could potentially win this one. Don't tell me. Don't tell me we miss our blades. We miss our blades and we die out the hyper voice. So we don't even get to see. And they get a crit. What is this? What is this? But again, GG's to our, to our opponent. They played really well. We go 2-1 for today's video. I'll take a 2-1 winning record all day. Rocked out with Groudon and the Sun Team and absolutely loved it. Pokemon like Fluttermane, Raging Bolt, and Ogre Pond absolutely thrived out next to Groudon, especially in that heat. And Groudon by itself was phenomenal. Using Precipice Blades, its signature stab move, and it did massive amount of damage, picking up KOs left and right. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.